Good morning, everyone. It is Stephen and Andrew from Pin in the Atlas. Here on a gray, quiet morning, gentle breeze. Looking at this landscape, can you guess where we are? If you guess somewhere in the south, you are correct. But where specifically are we this morning? Well, this morning we're at sacred meeting grounds for the Appalachie and Timucan, at least I think that's how you pronounce it, the Timucan and the Appalachian tribes who used to drink together from the medicinal springs in this area. We're about 25, 30 miles south of Georgia, still in Florida, on the ancient Swanee River, and we're in search of the White Sulphur Springs bathhouse, which dates back to 1835. Let's take a look. All right, there is an information plaque, and as you can see right next to it, those are some stairs going down. But before we climb down those stairs, there's an important notice that we need to show you all. Alligators. So we need to be extra careful as we make our way down, because we really do not want to run across one on these steps. Let's go. Now this whole area was bought by uh, Bryant and Elizabeth Sheffield back in 1835 because of the health benefits and their dream was to build a spa. So the original building was actually a wooden, a wooden house I guess, a wooden log cabin and it was a cure-all health spa and they named it Upper Mineral Springs. It wasn't until the 1900s um, and after the Civil War that it was renamed White Sulphur Springs. Yeah, can you imagine seeing that back in the day? I mean, see the what's left of it right here. It was pretty cool coming down the stairs. And um, in my eyes, this is still really uh, quite impressive to see. Could you imagine what it was like back in the day when it was all brand new? Yeah, that must have been absolutely incredible. No wonder people from all over would come here for cure all and it had to be incredibly popular. Well this was the number one health spa in the whole of Florida back in the day. Yeah, I can see why. All right, here at the base of the steps, we're gonna walk up and get our first glimpse inside. And wow, yeah, that looks a lot bigger than you would think from the outside here. Look at that. So this bathhouse was upgraded in 1908, I believe, to four storeys, and you can actually see where the old storeys used to be. And at low tide, I say at low tide, when the rivers dropped, you can actually walk into the bottom of these springs, or this swimming hole. That looks pretty dark and murky. Yeah, don't fancy a dip now. No, especially not with the risk of alligators. Now, by the 1930s, this place dwindled and uh, lost its popularity due to the prescriptions from doctors. They were not into prescribing natural drugs, but prescribed drugs. So let's walk around the other side. Now, I know there were buildings both sides, but uh, I haven't been able to see anything. Can, have you seen anything? No, I, I know I kind of looked over here and I can't tell if there are actual foundations or if it's, you know, rocks or, or what that is, but it's crumbled down so much that I, I don't know if that's what those are. Yeah, because there were uh, changing rooms and like I, I, I imagine some sort of cafe or bar um, and hotel. So, uh, yeah, it must have been pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. I mean, this still is, is really neat to, to walk around. And you think it's over 100 years old. It's still in really good condition. Yeah. I mean, I don't think this is all the original building materials, but, I mean, you know, you have to replace it as it goes. But look at that. There's a historic Swanee River. 
Now, 47 million gallons of water a day used to come from the source. And I think it was 1990, the source just suddenly dried up. Uh, they don't know why, it just went. And uh, so, yeah. And you can see that little uh, cement thing going out there into the water. I might have to go down there and see if we can check that out later. Well, I think that was to do with that they were trying to keep the sulfur water in the bath. And also, I would imagine that would help prevent the alligators going in as well. Yeah, I'm sure it did. So then this side, maybe we'll take a look, see if there's anything else on this side, any, any remnants of anything. So there were buildings on this side as well, but... There doesn't seem to be anything left now. No, I don't know if it's probably too much of uh, worn away now. It's a nice little bridge over there. Yeah, I think that goes over to the park. Yeah. There's a, a big park over the other side. So, and there were 14 other hotels and uh, lodgings in the area. Yeah, all right. Here's an old photograph that shows the different levels of the old uh, springs there in the pool. You see the water level was pretty high. It had three top levels. The very top one, that's the one that we were walking along. So I'm sure they've uh, redone the floorboards and things since the day, but uh, it does give you a sense of the scale. That's pretty incredible. And then down here, this next photo, which might have been taken from the other banks of the Swanee. It shows the buildings that were on each side of it. Now the one in the foreground here, this building, that's the one we panned and said there's absolutely nothing left. Uh, the one on the opposite side, you can just see the roof line of it right there. That's the one we did find some of the foundations that were crumbling down the hillside. There's some more photos of different views. You see people up here on the top seating down, maybe waiting for their turn, or maybe they've just finished letting the healing powers take over. Look at those happy people there. And then again, you get one more view at the very top. Again, I'm sorry about the glare. That was the size of the whole complex. It said it had doctor's rooms, examination rooms, and things like that. Because it was reported that these waters had healing powers, so they wanted people to drink it, to swim in it. Natural remedies. Down along the bottom, we found a plaque because we didn't know if it was 1906 or 1908. This says 1906. So yeah, that's well over a hundred years ago. So this is still in really good shape. And what I want to do also is I'm going to walk down along here. One, we'll see what that cement thing that goes up into the water is. And then just check out these foundations because they, they look like they're still in really good shape. You can get an up-close look at some of these building materials. It's like little rocks and pebbles and shells types things up in here. And you see there's cracks that they've kind of filled in, but I mean, they're not... They're not seeping all the way through or breaking off or anything. So, I mean, they did really build this very strongly. Because imagine all the hurricanes and things that Florida goes through. So we'll just creep on down here to the water's edge, obviously still looking out for any alligators. Don't want any surprises. And almost there. Because that actually goes out to the water pretty far. And then 
disappears. I guess when the water level's lower, I don't know how far out that goes. It's upstream, there's a place there. I just wanna see, this is that gate. You get a better look at it from down here, Mike. Now, when the spring was running, um, I think it used to maintain a temperature of uh, 72 degrees year round. Yeah. So, not too hot, but uh, I guess just right for a, a dip in the summer. Yeah. So, I want to go over to that bridge and maybe get a different look at this. Oh. Want to go see if we can find it? Let's take a look. We've walked a little ways away from the springs and we found one of the remaining original 14 luxury hotels in the White Springs area. This one is now up for sale. I would love to get inside. We did peer through one of the windows and from what we could see there is still some old-timey furniture in there. Don't know if it's original to the hotel but it does give it that, you know, pristine, historic look. And this just looks like an incredible building. The Telford. As you see on the sign on the right, it was established in 1902. I said it was four, and I will say it again. They sure knew how to build things back then. We'll continue around to the side. Now, like I said earlier, this is for sale. We actually contacted the number on the door just to see maybe there might be a chance they would let us in. Unfortunately, he's out of state or else he said he would be down here immediately. But it is for sale for $800,000 for a piece of history. That's, uh, that's a steal in my opinion. Now the bottom floors, there were two restaurants in there. The middle floor, there's a caretaker. And the top floor, was offices at one point and they took all the walls down. Apparently it's just massive up there. Just love these old buildings. This whole street run is all historical. It just gives you that feeling like you're walking with ghosts. These places are very important to our heritage. Need to keep them. And then there's this lovely old house right next door to the hotel. Doesn't say anything about it. Look at that lovely tree. So we're wondering if this could possibly be one of the original boarding houses or just a house of a, a well-to-doer who loved this area. I'm gonna walk around the front. And the picket fence is perfect. Look at the porches, the metal spiral staircase. Just the little architectural nuances. this great massive couple of trees here with the Spanish moss hanging off the leaves and the branches there. Just makes you crave a tall glass of sweet tea, doesn't it? The back of the property of that home. You can see there's some stairs going down to the edges of the Suwannee River. And then this amazing tree. Look at how it's just bending towards the river. The massive limbs outstretched, trying to touch the waters. 
love how the ferns and the Spanish moss just grow off of it. So picturesque. And here's another look at the White Springs Sulphur Pool House on the banks of the Suwannee River. All right, everyone. Unfortunately, this is the end of the video, but we do appreciate you coming along with us to check out White Springs, Florida. It's uh, got some really cool historic old buildings and obviously the, uh, the White Springs Sulphur Pool oh, was pretty impressive. So remember, get out there, go and explore, put another pin in the Atlas, and we will see you on our next adventure. And if you really like what we do and would like to help support us, we do have a Patreon and a PayPal. You can find those links in the description down below. Thank you. Bye. Bye. everyone unfortunately we have reached the end of this video but we do appreciate you coming along with us to uh white springs yeah <laughs>